my. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to Crafties for Cheap, the show that highlights an understated part of indie film production, and that is feeding your crew. I am Joey Min, and I am here today at the Dream Food Fest, and with me here is not my usual guest. It's uh, Ryu Senin, Street Beef's champion, um, and a good friend of the, of the channel. He's, he's here, he's accompanying me, because like I said, we're here at Dream Food Fest, the first time they ever did in the East Coast. Really do want to take care of like the people in our productions, our stuntmen, our actors, or our crew. So, you know, one of the things that we do here is to show you guys cheap ways to make really good food, crafties, to catering on your film productions. Doing this intro here because it's been raining and I didn't want to get like our stuff messed up. We did get some food in here. Are you excited? Like, I know once you got here, you kind of saw that it's mostly like Asian dishes, yes. right? Are you kind of familiar with like a lot of Asian dishes? No. So it's like street food kind of thing. And it seems really cool. Supposedly 15,000 people are supposed to be here. And you know, so hopefully, and it's, it's hot and it's raining and I hopefully it turns out well for them. But yeah, we're gonna check it out. I'm excited. See, like, eat some good food. Food Fest is a lot of Asian stuff, right? And yeah. I know you were saying how that's, you know. A little different for me. A little, little, little different, A little right? different for me. I mean. Deep fried watermelon. I'm not trying to tread any waters here, but you know. That is kind of like, my alley. I mean, it's watermelon. I gotta do it. All right. Please, could you, uh, this sounds interesting. And I think you, you you told us like how you guys like flew in from the Philippines too. Yeah, so we are Maryland Chicken. We're a soul food restaurant in Manila, Philippines. And as far as I know, we're the only black owned restaurant in the entire country. Right. So over the past 18 some odd years, I've been living in Manila. Mm -hmm. I'm living there. My now wife started making my grandma's soul food to make me feel less homesick. Right. And her friend said, we love this exotic food from this exotic place called Maryland. Right. Let's make a Maryland <laughs> restaurant. And I said, girl, shut up. No one's gonna buy my grandma's Maryland chicken. She goes, great name for the business, honey. And Maryland chicken was born. Wow. So over the past 18 plus years, we've been selling my grandma from Maryland's food. But about three or four years in, she wanted to add something for my grandma from Mississippi. Mm -hmm. So my grandma from Mississippi, every now and then, used to fry slices of watermelon. Like after like Thanksgiving, family reunion, she'd have extra slices. She'd take the whole slice, rind and all, batter it in that morning's pancake batter, fry Ooh. it real quick, add a little powdered sugar or some syrup, and the kids would eat it. Oh I told my wife that story, and then she goes, we'll sell that. So she's, we started selling deep fried watermelon slices on a stick with low powdered sugar. And Filipinos hated it. Too big, <laughs> too weird, too American. So instead of giving up, she made it look like something called kwek kwek. Right. Kwek kwek in the Philippines are like sort of classic uh, street food. Because almost all the street food in the Philippines is circular. Always like a, a squid ball, a, a right. fish ball, or a little quail egg right. battered in some sort of batter, fried, and topped with a type of uh, sauce. Stick a little ball of watermelon, right. battered it in my grandma's homemade cake batter from Maryland. Right. Topped it at my grandma's homemade. Wait, let me go prop right here. Right. Vanilla icing. Okay, nice. icing. Fried it like a not like, not fry, yes, <laughs> fried it like a Filipino street food, and we accidentally made these bad boys. I mean, these, these yes. are great. This is deep fried pakwan a la quick quick style. Oh, <laughs> uh, you and right. so thank you so much. All right, yeah, dude, you want to grab one order? Yes, please. All right, I'll ring you up right here. So, I mean, this makes sense. We're in Jersey. Your food, everything is deep fried, whatever, right? Now we've got deep fried watermelon. It's different. I've never seen this before. It looks like a little ball, and he said it's not mayonnaise, but I'm just, I don't know. I'm... All right, here we go. Take one. Super, super New Jersey shore food. This is probably the pinnacle of my blackness right here. Deep fried watermelon. I love this. <laughs> mm. I'm at work. Mmm. Yo, that ninja skill. It's the watermelon. Yo, give me out free swag. Yes. I was thinking about the tote, but it is hot. But I got this samurai bun here, though, so I can't. Bro, I just have a big ass. I feel like it don't even fit my head, though. Yo, this is a, sh a child meme. It's like sometimes the, the sun is, is crazy. What it did to me? He was Asian when we got here. <laughs> <laughs> So we're gonna try to find another thing, but so far it's picking up. Look at everybody, look, look around. Nice. Wow. I love this. I feel like I'm amongst new people now. I love, I'm gonna come out of this a whole different person. I'm gonna finally know how to use chopsticks now. <laughs> First off, Angie, there is a Pichu cotton candy. Pichu! 
So you're telling me you don't want one? That shit looks no. gangster. I could get us one. But right now, so here's the thing. You 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 told us that you've never had boba tea before. Never before. So, yeah, so this is the first time you're trying it? Which was yours, Inch? That's hers. This is mine. I'm, I'm just going to put it here, right? But, dude, I mean, try it. Go ahead. I was that that I was waiting for that. Hey yo, what the fuck? When you when you first get balls in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a funny story, right? I, I um so I had my first boba tea. I was like 15 or some shit. So that's like a was an ancient time ago when boba was was great, right? I've had that same fucking experience. I almost choked the first fucking time. <laughs> my cousins actually like showed it to me. Like I was just drinking, right? Shot on my throat. Fuck me up. How does it? How does it feel? You tell me. It tastes great. I just was not expecting the ball blasting frame one. There was no disclaimer. Would have been nice to know that. No, that that's happen. the thing. Shouldn't. You shouldn't. Just like a rite of passage. You don't tell them. Right. Yeah, hey, go choke on it. that shit. Choke on balls, baby. Oh, how I you like it? That? Toast. Loving it. <laughs> It looks like it's gonna rain again. So we're gonna try to like kind of finish up here before it rains up on us. But here we got, uh, this is Sisig Nacho. Yeah, Sisig Nacho is from uh, Lechon Bay. Oh, and uh, so it's like, it, it's fried pork and it's like a it's like a fusion, American, Mexican, Filipino fusion. Yeah. All the races in here. Yeah, go ahead, you have to try it. Actually, you know, eating that shit to um, Bowser Show me a move. That, kind of that was dope, actually. I like that. But what, what, what do you feel about that? Pretty good. I actually like it. I've never had, like, they're more like pork nachos. I never had that before. Any kind of, like, a different style of pork, pulled pork, right? And, like, yeah. a, a nachos. I think that's, that's it. Oh. I'm, I'm used to beef nachos, but this, to me, was, like, a brand new experience. It's, like, dope. Dope. I love it. All right, I know. I'm really sorry about this. I was going to ask for spoons, but they didn't have any. Uh -huh. This is uh, sizzling lechon over rice. Right. So you gotta, you gotta try that out. <sighs> little spicy, little kick to it. I was really hoping this would be more flavorful though. It's kind of underwhelming, honestly. I think I'd hype, but it's not bad. It's not, not bad. like, it's not that the flavor I was like think, thinking yeah, of. This is my first time with it, so like, I have no expectation for any of this yeah. stuff, but it's pretty good. Oh, that was pretty good. I think Lechon Bay is, is pretty damn awesome. All of the, both the seasick tacos and yeah. this, we got it from there. It's awesome. I would actually, if they have a, if they have a physical store, I'm going to try to find it and definitely want to taste everything out. Just like I said, I started kind of drizzling. A little bit of love. And I was like, let's get my fucking camera in. But we did get some food. It was like, it's been awesome this entire day so far, right? Loving I mean, it. Thank you again to our American uh, Dream Food Fest uh, for, for this awesome event. Thank you to all of the chefs that we got to talk to, all the people that we, uh, you know, got some amazing food from. Thank you so much for having me. No problem, man. Always, always a pleasure to have you on the channel. Aww. Remember, feed your productions. Feed the people. <laughs> all right, bye.